What's up, my folks? I hope everyone's doing good. Talking about winter, people want to know how I winterize. Well, the dogs that don't have insulated dog houses full of straw, I kind of got some dog houses I've been building up that they can handle the winter in. You know, they got insulation through them and double walled, and if they block the wind, they can get in there. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do some more, but uh. I, I'm gonna do a different type and I'll show y'all. It's just like the, uh, you guys that was wanting to know, it's it's like the Royal Canadian Police build. It's supposed to be able to handle down like in the below 30 degrees or some shit, but them are shepherds and shit, but you know what I'm saying? For anything I deal with, it'll, they'll be toasty warm. It's just got like a partition wall insulated, capped off. It's pretty nice, but I'm gonna build them just like that. If y'all wanna look and see what I'm talking about, it's, it's pretty simple. You just go and, uh, Look up the RCP dog houses, how they make them. It's just got a little partition wall, the whole. All you northern guys know what the fuck I'm talking about. But that's how you do I'm going to do my new ones. But basically, my other ones are just like that. They don't have the partition wall. But So I'm just going to, the ones I already have built, I'm going to put a partition in them. And uh, I'm just going to uh, do it like that. And the other ones, I'm going to, you know, I'm going to retrofit a partition wall. And then the new ones I build with it. But uh, what you doing, dummy? <laughs> And the other ones I just bring into the barn. Remember, I got a barn that I use. People were asking about this dog, uh, how he was put together. He's a, he's Jeep Red Boy Jocko, Bolio Tombstone on top, and uh, uh, Rita Dynamite Nigarino, you know, Outlaw Nigarino on bottom. Mostly Nigarino, but that's what he is. That's how he's put together. He's that. It's a good Red Boy Jocko shit, though. I mean, uh, Bolio Tune. It's both, all of it. It's a blend. You know how they make It's all that good shit. But, yeah, that's how he's put together. He's big. I had some people ask him, would I sell him? I mean, that ain't how you ask them if you want to buy a dog. You got to throw a number at me, man. He's big. He's a little bigger than I want. But, man, he acts good as a motherfucker. He does. I mean, he's still a puppy, though. I mean, he... He's still young, but he looks good. He acts good. He's he's put together good. He's just big, man. I'm sick of these big some bitches. But uh, I kept the big one. I don't know why I did that. I sh I should have kept the little one. There was a little one in the litter I mail, and I was gonna keep his ass, but I let him go. I talked out of him, but uh, so I kept the biggest one. And uh, he actually turned into the biggest one. You know, that's another thing people were asking about size. You can't really tell. You can't tell. I mean, I've seen a lot of times the, the little dog turn into the big dog. Like, uh, well, she ain't in here. I got a couple dogs I keep inside when it's real cold. But, like, CJ, that, that young pup, she was the biggest female. She's a teeny little thing. I bet she ain't going to be 35 pounds. And uh, this bitch, well, she was a big bitch. She was the biggest bitch in the litter. And she's a big female, too. She don't, she don't like these dogs near her. She can just tremble in, boy. She's, it ain't cold in here at all. It's just she just pissed. She knows I'll get on that ass if she starts showing out, though. That's, you know, you gotta, you gotta get them. Like, look at Rita. Rita's a monster. People that have ever seen Rita in real life tell you that bitch is dangerous. She's a serious bulldog. And uh, she knows she'll lay her ass down. Rusty, he just lay there and chill. They know. Don't even start acting up. Clubber, he knows. I done whooped their asses for it. Uh, she's learning. She's still on the edge. Sometimes when she sees me, Hand them one, but usually when she start kenneling them like this, you know, uh, asking about the kenneling up in the barns and shit. Yeah, they get used to each other. I mean, they know. Like he still he sees his reflection in the glass sometimes, you know, right here, and uh, he's like don't know that ugly mug. He knows these other dogs, but he don't know that guy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So he'll start trying to get through the fucking wire and shit. But that's only when there's a, a light. I turn the other lights on, you know. But I got my barn, it's, it's, it stays nice and warm in here. I got it set up pretty good, got lights in there and shit. But, uh, yeah, that's how I keep them, guys. But, um, and that's how he's bred. He's a uh, Bolio Red Boy Jocko Tombstone on top. And then Dynamite Nigarino with a little bit of Outlaw. You know, a little bit of, I'm not talking about uh, the Red Boy Outlaw, neither. I'm talking about um, Hargrove's Outlaw. Uh, but for people that are asked, because I have people ask about that too. It's, it's not the uh, Medlin's outlaw blood. It's, it's Hargrove's outlaw. But anyway, that's how he's bred. But uh, yeah, I like him. But I mean, I, <laughs> he is really big. I had like four people ask what I'd take for him. That 
I, I wouldn't take a million dollars for women in, in on the right day, but <laughs> right, you know what I mean. I mean, you gotta make a. That ain't how you you buy a dog. You you throw some money at me if I don't interest interested in it. I tell you, I'm not interested in selling. If you strike my interest, I might say, yeah, I'll sell him. But he's big now. He's he's gonna be in the fucking. It's gonna be close to fifty. I guarantee he's gonna be in close to fifty, if not more. Cause he's still a puppy. He's still just a. A big old puppy. I mean, he. I don't know. He. I don't know if he's a year old or not. Got nuts on him, but I have to look at his paper. I don't think he's a year old yet. He might be right at it. You know, he's like 12, 13 months. But anyway, folks, uh, that's how we do it. I mean, people are asking how to do it, but if you're building houses, man, I'd, I'd look into that. You know, that design where you got the, the entrance with a little partition wall, and they go into another little box, and that's how I would do it. I mean, I'm no expert on the cold weather, but when, like tonight, it's going to get down in the 20s, you know, fuck. It's pretty cold down here, especially these thin here. Like, he can't, has no cold tolerance. He he hates cold. Quit eating that wheat straw. Uh, but he can't stand the cold um, at all. I mean, he if 30 minutes out there when it's 30 degrees, he's freaking out, man. <laughs> so I got to keep his ass in a pretty warm spot. You know, some of them... Like clubber, it don't seem to bother. Some dogs it don't seem to bother, you know. Um, it, I, it's not a bloodline thing. I think it's more of a climate thing. Raised. He's always been in real hot weather, and we only hit. I bet you we don't have two weeks of real cold weather a year, you know. So it's not that hard for me just to bring a bunch of dogs in once in a while. It fucks up my hunting. Don't get me wrong. It fucks up my damn hunting. But I kill the fuck out of deer anyway when I want to. I killed an eight point yesterday. You know what I'm saying? So I don't really worry about it. I just do it, keep them up, you know. But anyway, folks, that's how we do it. Keep them warm and y'all stay safe. I mean, you got to think if it's 25 degrees outside and it's 55, 50 in here, they're, they're ideal. And, and I don't know how the warm a damn insulated doghouse gets, but even a barrel. I got a couple barrel houses that I made with, I capped them and, uh, you know what I mean, boxed them in. And I packed it full of straw, you know. And last night I went out there and it was 30, right at 30 degrees on the thermometer. And I went in there and tank, I got in the tanks and uh, it was plenty warm in there for them. So, you know, unless it gets, like the 20s is a little different. I mean, that's just, it's hard ice everywhere and that's pretty hard freezing. We're going to be in the 20s for eight hours, you know what I'm saying? So, that's how... Uh, you know, when we get down that low, it, that's when I kind of worry about it. But other than that, even my good barrel houses would probably be fine. But fuck it. I just bring them in. But that's how we do it. But in like him, that's how he's bred. I don't know what else to tell you. But um, he's a good acting pup. He ain't for sale, but he might be for sale. I know you big ballers all always throwing crazy money at motherfuckers. But yeah, he's bred out the ass. If you like it. I mean, I'll show you the papers if you... You know, you're interested on him. He's bred out the ass. He's off the good shit. And it's close. But, and he acts good. He don't have a, I, He's a little funny with, you know, a little funny with certain things like took him a minute to get used to stairs and shit like that. But once he got used to it, he's all right. But y'all take care and keep on bulldogging.